everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So today's video is a collaboration with Hunter Hauk. I will have his YouTube, Instagram, and even TikTok in the description below. He also has a merch store that you guys should definitely go check out. So Hunter sent me some isopods to unbox for this video. Now I already unboxed them just to check on them because there was an issue with my delivery which I'm not gonna go into. So I had to go ahead and check on them, make sure that they were okay really quick before I did the video. I'm not only going to be unboxing some pretty awesome isopods from Hunter, but also showing you guys how to set them up. So I have two different species of isopods that I'm going to be setting up into two bins. So I will record both of that for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox the isopods. He sent me this super cute little note, which I will show you guys later, but I don't want you guys to read it too much right now because it does tell you the species, which I want to show you guys as more of a surprise. Or well, I guess you can see it there. So this is the first one, which we're going to go ahead and open. So the first one has Porcelio Lavis or Dairy Cow Isopods. I had to do the untaping off of the video so oh there's one. Oh my gosh they're so cute so that one is still a baby but it is bigger there are a couple smaller ones in here even there's one right there they're so cute oh my gosh i love them So here's this one on my hand, that way you can see them a little bit better. There he goes. <laughs> They're a little spooky right now. Here, you can see that one. I'm not sure what he's doing. But that is the first isopods. And then we keep opening. And we have the second ones. So these guys are Armadillidium kalugi. I believe I pronounced that right. If not, feel free to correct me. Hopefully I did. That would be a little embarrassing. Or clown isopods. Here is one little cutie at the top. Now these guys, I love the dairy cows so much, but the guy, these guys really are beautiful. Not that the dairy cows aren't, but these guys just strike you on a little bit of a different level. There's another one down there. Now, these guys are a little more shy from what I can tell. This is my first time with this species. They roll up more. The dairy cow ice pods aren't able to roll up quite like this though. They usually just run, but You can see him right there. Now that we have opened the isopods, I can go ahead and show you the note that Hunter sent me. So that is one of the designs of his merch. Definitely go check out his merch store. And it says, Gracie, I hope you love the isopods. They're super awesome. And I know they'll thrive in your care. I sent you lots of babies so that you can watch them grow. There are a lot more Porcelio Labus than the Kluge because Kluge are harder to breed. My number one tip is to give the Lavis plenty of freeze-dried shrimp. They love it. I can't wait to see your video. Sincerely, Hunter. So, thank you so much to Hunter for sending me these guys. I'm so excited. Um, I know I already have them, but I'm just still so excited to see how they grow and thrive and how the colonies all just... I'm so excited. <laughs> so, thank you so much, Hunter. Also, don't forget to go check out Hunter's channel linked in the description below. And I'm also going to be linking his video, which is the first part to this one. So he recorded a video of him shipping the isopods to me. So definitely go check it out. So both of these are going to be more of starter colonies, if that makes any sense, because I don't have a crap ton of them i'm going to be having them in a little bit smaller bins um eventually you would want to upgrade them as your colony grows or split them into multiple bins 
but this is how you make a starter colony bin. So the very first thing you're going to want to do with your container is put some holes in it. This one has some going around on those two sides and then there's also a couple that I punched in the top. Um, this one has a couple little ones in the top but I'm actually going to be adding a couple more on the sides. So the next thing that you're going to be doing is adding your substrate. Now I'm going to be doing a mix of some bio bedding by Josh's Frogs. You can kind of see it there. Um, and some eco work. That is just what I'm doing for now. I'm going to be changing it up a little bit in the future, getting them some better things, but that is what I'm just starting with today. So I actually need this for a project that I'm working on, so I'm not going to add too much of this, but I need some of it as my base, sort of. So now I'm going to go ahead and be adding some of my Eco Earth that I just mixed up with water. It is a little extra wet so I have to squeeze it out before as you can hear that I'm sure so now I'm going to be mixing in and breaking up some leaf litter for these guys Now this is definitely optional, but it is something that I like to do to help if there happens to be any mold or anything grow. I have this from Josh's Frogs. I have a container of springtails, which are little white bugs. You might be able to see a couple that will go around and eat things like any mold, any decaying matter. So they will help kind of clean up extra after the isopods and just make sure that everything is nice and clean for them. Just adding a lot like that. And then you just want to go ahead and mix that in there as well. I like to leave a spot with a little bit more of the charcoal under the substrate because that is where they will establish their own little breeding colony. So now I'm going to be adding a little bit of gecko and bearded dragon shed to the mix just because it is something that they will eat and enjoy. Once again, this is more optional, but it is something that I prefer to do. And then just go ahead and mix it in a little bit. So now I'm going to be adding some pieces of cork bark for them. Now, this is a smaller bin by a little bit because there are less of the armadillidiums. So they're going in here and then my Porcelio Lavis are gonna go in here or dairy cows and clowns. I'm going to go ahead and take some pieces of moss that I 
don't see them covering and plop it in, maybe mix it around a little bit. Just so that they can go ahead and have that. Moss is another thing that you can add to your mix, but I didn't need to um, because there are pieces of it mixed into my Josh's Frogs bio bedding. There are also some extra charcoal pieces in my Josh's Frog bio bedding. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of try and get these guys in here. They'll go. Here's a good one. Oh, I think that guy died in shipping. Poor dude. Oh, and that's an adult one too. Man. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave him in there. The others will take care of him if he is dead. He might be alive. They sometimes play dead. So I'm just gonna leave him right there and we're gonna see what happens because I think I saw him move. <gasps> One went in. Others to go. You can see them. There they are. There's a bunch of them right here. They're all in the bottom. They do like to dig, which is why you need to make sure you have plenty of substrate for them. And they also like places to hide like that. I'm really hoping this guy isn't dead, but I really think he is. Thought I may have saw him move a leg, but there they are. You can see tons of them moving around over there. Okay, so let's go ahead and add these guys. Now these guys are harder to breed, so there are less. Some under here. Put a little more under here. Just make them feel nice and safe. Okay. So. There's one on here. I'm just gonna plop him in. I don't know. There's some tiny, tinies. Okay, I think I got them all. See, oh, there's two. Oh, well that one might be dead, I'm not sure. Um, so considering it's a different color, I'm gonna say it might be dead, but I am gonna leave it because they will eat the dead ones. Sounds kind of weird sometimes, I don't know. It's just what they do. Okay, I think that is good. They are in, you can see some down there. There's one literally right there. Those are my two isopod bins. Since we are talking about isopods, I figured I would take this time to show you guys my colony of trigreen and tomatosas or dwarf white isopods. So there is one right there. These guys do like to play dead. So there's a chance that we may find some playing dead. I actually got scared the other day that a couple of them died. Oh, there's one right there. These guys are really tiny and like to hang out way under the substrate. But that is those guys. I'm going to be feeding these guys Rapashi Bug Burger. There is a variety of different options to feed them though. This is just what they're getting today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. So far the isopods are doing amazing still. I waited a couple days and they're thriving. They're doing so great. I'm so excited that they are. And I can't wait to see how this culture grows and flourishes, hopefully. And I will do a future update video on them if you guys would like. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you'd like to see in my next video and hit the bell so that you never miss a single upload.